Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Well, it is time to go down to New York City on this big Memorial Day spectacular. Fleet Week is happening in New York City. The U.S. Navy is in town. All tied up at Staten Island and down Pier 80 on the West Side Highway of Manhattan in New York City, the United States Navy. And, hey, Lee, how you doing, man? Okay, Dr. Wright, they're all dressed in white. Are they dressed up by Navy shipmates taking over New York City right now, huh? Oh, yeah. i tell you what, man, when I was uh, I used to serve as public affairs officer, one of the PAOs with the United States Navy Fleet Week in New York City, and... Man, I would show up in uniform, man. I had to pay nothing. I was there for like seven days, spent no money in New York City, man. Everything was free and nice as mother's advice, man. Dynamite room, dynamite suite to live in. All that stuff was happening. But compliments of a lot of great people and the late Mr. Zachary Fisher, who put together the Intrepid, the United States Navy aircraft carrier, the Intrepid Memorial there on the West Side Highway, man. A lot of great people. And Admiral Bob Rosen. Oh, great people in my life, man. So, Lee, how is, how's the Syracuse University Connect doing this afternoon, man? Eh? Well, Dr. Wright. Yes. VPA's Vision with Action 2009 is about to happen in New York City. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, lay it on us, man. Lay it on us. Yes, the College of Visual and Performing Arts will present what now seems to be their annual New York City Fashion Show to be held on June the 3rd on the 50th floor of the J.P. Morgan Chase offices at 270 Park Avenue in Manhattan. Dean Ann Clark and the VPA Advisory Council are offering limited seating opportunities at various pricing. And for more information, call April Maw at area code. 315-443-7095, and the Icon of Style Award will be presented to Henry E. Gressel. If you remember, superstar and network participant Emmy received this coveted award last year, Dr. Wright. Yes, Emmy, Melissa and Twistle, Emmy. Oh, yeah. I saw Emmy one morning, man. She was sitting in Cosmos. On Marshall Street at Syracuse University, nobody knew who she was, man. This beautiful, <laughs> incredible young lady sitting there. And I walked in, man, and she jumped up and grabbed me and gave me a big kiss. And everybody was looking at me real strange. And I told everybody in Cosmos, this young lady was nominated or that voted one of the 50th most beautiful people in America by People Magazine. Melissa N. Twistle, Emmy, man. Oh, yeah. We got some stories out of Syracuse University, haven't we, Lee? Some big time stories. So keep the party going. Keep the information flowing, Lee. What else you got for us this afternoon, man? Well, Dr. Wright. Yeah. Also on June the 3rd, the SU School of Information Studies invites alumni and their guests to rock out the I Band, the fifth group of deans and faculty on the SU campus. Do you know about them? Hey, who are the hip ones, man? They tell me this. I'm, I'm listening, man. Well, this event will be held at Blue House from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., but you must RSVP to this free event by calling area code 315-443-5604. Dr. Wright! Oh, uh, talk to me about the Lubin House. Give me more, Lee and SU. Hey, by the way, man, SU, Cornell tomorrow in the Big Lacrosse National Lacrosse. Championship. Tomorrow. I hear that. I hear, we won last year, didn't we? Oh, we took it. Yeah, we're the defending national champions of NCAA Division I lacrosse, man. So Syracuse versus Cornell tomorrow. I think it'll be at high noon from Foxborough, Massachusetts. We'll find out who the national champs are. But Syracuse got a lot of firepower. Cornell, too. But uh, let's see what happens, man. And Syracuse defending its national championship of college lacrosse. Okay, Lee, got more for me, haven't you? Got more. Oh, yeah. Oh, lay it on us, man. Whoever schedules these events should check in with me first. Check just it. kidding, just <laughs> kidding. However, on June the 3rd, yes. I already have Yankee tickets purchased. Syracuse's own George Kilpatrick, Clear Channel Radio syndicated host of New Inspiration for the Nation. Yes. Will start off his birthday week by cheering in the New 
Yankee Stadium, <laughs> and the... I will be right ah. there with them. What do you think about that? Happy birthday, George Kilpatrick. Happy birthday, George Kilpatrick. Happy birthday, King of All Media Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. I think this is a milestone birthday, too. Ooh. I think it's a milestone. I'm not going to tell anybody, but uh, between you and I, it might be his 50th birthday. Hello. Yeah, between you and I, man. I'm not going to tell anybody. Oh, my God. I just said trying it. to catch up with us. Oh, God. I left the <laughs> microphone on. George <laughs> Kilpatrick, King of All Media, Dr. Showtime Rick. I left the mic on, man, when I was talking to Lee, and I let the secret out <laughs> about your milestone birthday. Happy birthday, George Kilpatrick, GK. Yankee Stadium. Hey, George is a real Yankee fan, too, man. Oh, yes, stadium, he man. is. So y'all gonna Not be the right. Yes, this is man. our last item. Hit me. This coming Thursday, May the 28th, the Syracuse University Drama Organization and the College of DPA, they're presenting a career workshop entitled Multiple Streams of Income, moderated by Deborah Russell, class of 1992. And this seminar will be at Lubin House. Tickets are required. And if you want to attend, you must first go on the Internet to www. SUDrama.org slash seminar underscore five dash zero nine dot htm. Dr. Rick Wright, that was a mouthful, and this is Lee Kitt for the network. Okay, Lee Kitt from the network for New York City, man. Enjoy yourself. Have a great Memorial Day, and I'll talk to you next Sunday here at Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. Love you, Lee, and thank God for you and all that you do. All right? All right. Showtime. All right, so get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world. Checking out Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a big bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.